What's up YouTube, back again with another new video. So I actually intended for this to come out about one or two weeks back, but then I didn't bother filming it for whatever reason. And I'm sure by now you've probably seen several of these videos all over YouTube, and that's kind of expected considering the seasonal change. But I decided to do this video anyways, so it's going to be Spring and Summer Menswear Essentials for 2017. And I will provide links for everything in the description below, so be sure to check that out as well. And yeah, let's just get started. So, starting off with number one, it's something that's pretty much a given and something that probably everyone's going to be buying. It is a pair of shorts. Now, the shorts that I'm particularly fond of are usually on the shorter side. Now, that may be because I used to run cross-country track in high school or just because I personally like the way they look more than uh, longer shorts. You know those dudes who wear like the shorts that are really long that borderline look like capris. Uh, it's never personally been my style, but if it's yours, uh, go ahead and run with it. But I'm personally going to be running with the, uh, the shorter uh, sweat shorts as well as the rolled up shorts. These are pretty much the only two styles of shorts I've been wearing since 2012-2013. Uh, and I'm still wearing them now. Uh, you have H&M, which is uh, the black shorts I was wearing in my thrift haul video for those of you that checked that out. They were the unfinished hem sweat shorts with the white drawstring. Now they have finally brought those sweat shorts back and those are the ones that you're definitely going to want to buy. They do make these other sweat shorts that they have almost year round, but those kind of have the same lining on the inside of the shorts that a hoodie would have. So it's like that brushed kind of uh, fabric on the inside. And I'm going to say those ones are a no-go. You definitely want the French Terry unfinished hem shorts, which I will leave links to in the description below. Because the other ones are going to make your balls sweat a lot. And you don't want that this summer. Trust me, you do not want that. I've had those pairs of shorts in the past as well. And they're awful for the summertime. But like I said, French Terry unfinished hem shorts, those are the ones you got to get. Uh, there's also some that they sell at Urban Outfitters, which... Currently, I'm not really feeling too much, and that's because they have that extra drop crotch patch right in the middle, and they make it really obvious. Like, I wish it would blend in a little better with the shorts, and on the black pair, it seems to blend in quite nicely, but on the, the light gray or beige pairs, it kind of looks like a saggy diaper, in my opinion, so I wouldn't run with those, but the H&M ones are a pretty good look. And also, a quick side note, another reason why I've been kind of wearing the shorter shorts for a very long time is because if you're a tall, lanky, shaggy from Scooby-Doo looking motherfucker like me, I honestly, like, go look, like, take a picture of yourself from off in the distance, have somebody take a picture of you when you're wearing those shorts. It makes you look a lot taller than you really are. And I don't know if other people have noticed that as well. Like, uh, depending on what they wear, they might look taller in pictures. But yeah, you're gonna look like a giraffe, even if you're only five foot eight. But if you're a pretty thin dude, the short shorts are gonna make you look a lot taller. So just something to keep in mind. And next, we are moving on to cheap basic tees. You're going to want a variety of basic tees for the summer, especially if you live in California where it gets up into the hundreds. You're going to be running through these tees like crazy. You can pretty much get them anywhere. Uh, I'd go for some of the lighter colors like the beige creams, the light pinks, all the various light blues that are currently offered. Uh, h and is a pretty good spot for the plain tees because you're not really going to want to, at least that's kind of going to be a recurring theme on this list. You're not going to want anything crazy expensive. Because in the summer, if you're really someone who's active and out and about, you're probably going to be sweating like crazy. Or if you're someone who likes to go on adventures like hikes, uh, going to abandoned places, going to Disneyland, I don't know, whatever you're into, you're going to get dirty, probably. So I'd say the cheaper basic tees from all the various retail chains, probably your best bet. Anything under $10 is pretty solid for basic tees in my opinion. And I've already pretty much stocked up on a lot of them. You might have seen it on my new pickups video. But yeah, basic tees are a definite cop. I'm suggesting something a little more fitted. Uh, maybe you could go size up on some of the basic tees because the ones from H&M definitely do shrink once you dry them. So you could hang dry to avoid that. But yeah, medium, large is kind of what I wear. And I'm 5'11", just so you guys can have a rough kind of estimate on how the sizing works with those. And also, basic tie-dye tees, if you guys are into those, are not a bad look for the summer at all. Uh, there is someone on Grailed who's making all these crazy custom-like tie-dye tees, which I will leave links to below, and probably insert some pictures right here, where he uses, like, cartoon characters on, like, champion blanks and tie-dyes them. And most of them do look pretty cool, and some of them get price dropped to pretty reasonable prices, so it's just something for you guys to check out. Moving on to number three. 
you're gonna want a pair of beater sneakers. And what I mean by beater sneaker is go and buy a sneaker that's relatively common, nothing too expensive or crazy, that you're not afraid to really get dirty and it's not gonna hurt your pockets in any way, shape, or form. Something like a Vans Old School, Vans uh, Authentic, Vans Slip-On, almost any Vans pretty much, even the, the crazy ass prison issues which uh, are probably gonna get really popular soon. I don't know, I just think they are. Uh, maybe a pair of Converse or Chucks as well as some other kind of ideas. Uh, the Adidas Samba Classic, which is actually a shoe I had in middle school. I think I had like three or four pairs, and it's a shoe that now uh, I kind of am wanting again, even though it's been so long since I've tried them, so I don't even know what they're gonna fit like. But also, I'd recommend the Reebok Club C85. Definitely a very spring-summer vibe shoe, especially if you go with the white with the gum bottom. And if somebody could tell me how those fit, I would really appreciate it because I have no idea what Reebok sizing is currently like. And Air Force Ones, the white Air Force Ones really aren't a bad look, although I think they're a bit of a heavier and clunkier shoe for the summer, but I mean, you can't really go wrong with an all white pair of Air Force Ones. Not particularly my taste, but it is something that I would recommend for you guys to go and check out if it is your style. And like I said, all these shoes, relatively inexpensive. The shoes, you're not going to care if they get dirty. Some of these shoes, like the Vans and the Converse, look a hell of a lot better when they're more beat up. At least uh, that's just, I guess, down to personal preference. But I'm sure there are a lot of people that will agree with that statement. And also one other thing, even though it is not technically a cheap sneaker, if you do get a used pair of Ultra Boosts on Grailed or eBay or wherever, I'd say that's also a pretty decent beater sneaker and why I say that is because if you guys are at amusement parks like Disneyland or whatever for upwards of 10 hours, you know a pair of Vans or Chucks start to hurt and you definitely don't want to be walking around all miserable in the blazing hot with crazy ass parents running you down with their strollers. You're going to want to be comfortable. So I would recommend a pair of Ultra Boost. Uh, you don't really want to pay resale or retail. I'd say get kind of an unpopular color maybe, or just something a little more basic, more accessible. Because trust me, if you're standing in those long ass lines, you will definitely want something comfortable on your feet. And that is a sneaker I would highly recommend for that. And next, moving on to number four, I'm gonna say you're gonna want some thin button ups. Uh, I will leave links to some that I have found online in the description below, as well as some thin flannels because when you kind of get into the springtime like we're in now, it may be hot during the day, but sometimes you might have a chilly spring or summer night. So maybe something light to throw on wouldn't be too bad. Uh, all the flannels I've pretty much gotten recently are all thrifted, so I'd recommend checking out your local thrift stores. That way you don't pay $50 for a flannel or anything crazy like that. You could grab a whole mess of them probably for six to ten dollars each which is a much better way to spend your money and it's going to be something that'll last you pretty much throughout the spring summer and possibly even going into fall you can keep wearing it as well now you do want to stay away from any heavy flannels because then you'll just be sweating too much and yeah you don't really want that so uh yeah i will try and find some flannels online but i'd recommend checking out your local thrift stores because you'll probably get more bang for your buck that way, as opposed to spending crazy amounts for a flannel. And as far as button-ups, uh, same thing applies like the basic tees. Go with some of the lighter blues, pinks, maybe even some, some denim button-ups that are a bit lighter, not anything salvage denim or any indigo denim. I, I don't think that's gonna be a great look for spring, summer. That's more of a fall, winter vibe. And next, I don't know if I'm running through this too quick. If so, I'm sorry. Uh, I'd say a light wash denim jacket, but also a thin denim jacket. I know I used to have one from, I think, H&M that was a light wash, and it was a pretty kind of cropped, nice and tight denim jacket. My only problem with that one was is it didn't have pockets, and that pissed me off all the time. So I tossed that to the side, and I think I got rid of it at like Buffalo Exchange or something. But I have been looking online. On and on Grailed uh, specifically. And there's a lot of nice uh, Levi's denim jackets on there right now, a lot of light wash ones, which I will drop below in various sizes so you guys can go and check those out because you don't really wanna spend too much money. If you guys already have a denim jacket, you probably bought it in the fall or winter and it might be a little heavier, uh, may possibly even Sherpa lined and obviously you can't wear that in the spring or summer unless you're like fucking crazy. But yeah, uh, light wash denim jacket, just something to throw over for the spring summer nights where it might get chilly depending on where you're located. Uh, definitely not a bad look at all. 
And lastly, you're going to want a good pair of sunglasses. Nothing cheap from the boardwalk on Venice. You're gonna want something that protects your eyes. I would heavily recommend looking into some of the super sunglasses, the Ray-Bans, and maybe also get a cheaper pair of sunglasses that's kind of like a, you're just vibing indoors or maybe it's already the sun's already set but you still want to look pretty cool. Urban Outfitters does have some glasses that I personally like and it's where I got my white Cobain shades although right now they do not have those anymore but they do have them in black which I do plan on picking up and doing a review on. So yeah, one pair of glasses that actually protects your eyes and then go for like a cool cheaper pair that you can just wear once the sun's already set or maybe really early morning before the sun actually rises. So yeah, just some stuff that I thought everyone should have for the spring or summer. Like I said, there's gonna be tons of links in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you guys thought about the list and what you guys are personally gonna be rocking. And update, I have no idea about the store list yet for the guest ASAP uh, ice cream and cotton candy collection. As of now, I still believe it is May 2nd, although some people have been DMing me telling me they moved the release to May 4th, but I will do a video or talk about it on Instagram whether or not anything uh, changes, so be sure to look out for that. Uh, I will be doing a possible top five favorite sneakers for the summer, but I'm not entirely sure because your boy don't have shit for sneakers right now. So I need to restock and also I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the guest ASAP drop in Beverly Hills. Uh, like I said, either May 2nd or May 4th. Not entirely sure at the moment, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and peace out YouTube. Yeah.